The graphic wall pod provides an elegant user control to any in-light controlled space. Its 3.5 inch high resolution touchscreen is easy to view and simple to use. Once our device is powered up, touch the screen. What you see is the factory default setting with two controls operating on two different channels. One on off and one on off with dimming option. To begin setup and configuration, access the password protected screens by pressing the lock icon at the top left of the screen. You will be prompted to enter in the factory default password of 1234. You will now have access to the various screens that will help us create presets and modify several device parameters. In this video, we will walk through each configuration screen's capabilities. Let's begin with Wallpod. Here we can modify our existing channels displayed on the home screen. The top arrows rotate between the existing channels. Edit allows you to rename each channel. The two options underneath device type allow you to change the channel function from a simple on-off switch to an on-off switch with dimming option. You can also add or delete channels by selecting add pole or delete pole at the bottom of the screen. We will add a third channel for demonstration purposes and we will also designate all channels except for number three to have the on off with dimming option. Once we have our desired preferences, hit save and return back to the home screen. Cycle through the home screen and we can now see our third channel is an available option. The next option we have in setup mode is lighting preset where we can add or edit any lighting presets. Begin by selecting the number of presets we wish to have for our system. For this demonstration, we will add one preset. Hit the top right arrow to access the editing screens for your selected preset. First, we can change the name of our preset through Edit. Next, we can add or remove channels to the preset by selecting the boxes underneath each channel. A small white box indicates that the channel has been selected. We can alter the output of each channel by adjusting the parameters accordingly. If a channel has the dimming option, we can use the slider to bring the light to a specific level. Otherwise, we can designate a channel to be on or off. For this demonstration, we will set channel 1 to 20% dim and channel 2 to 100% dim. Channel 3 will remain off in this preset. Once we have our desired presets in place, select the back arrow in the top left corner and save so that our updates can be uploaded to the system. By default, the presets will be designated to the second page on our home screen. If we press our preset, we will see that both lamps will dim to 20%. This is because by default, all in-light devices communicate on channel 1 out of the box. To change this, we will need to change the switch tracking channel of our right lamp, which brings us to the third option in setup mode. Set switch tracking is where we can address individual devices so that they operate on a specific channel or switch. All of the devices connected to your in-light system will be displayed in the selection box, and by default, all devices will designate to channel 1. This means that one single switch will operate the entire system. We need our right lamp to communicate with channel 2, so we'll deselect it from channel 1, scroll to channel 2, and select it. Some devices have two poles, meaning they can track two channels at the same time. Those devices would be displayed if we navigate to pole 2. Once we have our desired preferences in place, hit save and they will be loaded into the system. Navigate back to your home screen and hit your preset one more time. We can now see that both lamps are communicating according to our preset, indicating that we have successfully changed our switch tracking channel. Our first preset is now in place. The fourth option in setup mode is wall pod reference. This screen indicates which devices dimming output the on-screen wall pod will track. All of the devices in your system that are recognized by the graphic wall pod will be displayed in the selection box. Select the channel you wish to reference by using the arrows on the top of the screen. Then select the device which will have its output referenced by the respective channel and add devices to suit your specific need. Press save so your preferences can be loaded to the system. The fifth option in setup mode is select page order. Here you can customize the order of information displayed on the wall pod home screen. Pressing either presets, scenes, or wall pods will cycle the number to its right. 
These numbers represent the screen which the info will be displayed on. One is the default home screen, and zero will disable the button from displaying. The final option in setup mode is NPOD GFX Setup. Here is where you can customize basic settings of the wall pod, such as password, labels, screen settings, restoring factory settings, and clearing scenes. In Change Password, you will be prompted to enter a new password two times. Once entered the second time, your new password will be set. In Editing Label, you can change the name of the graphic wall pod device. We can customize the screensaver image that appears after a timeout through screensaver mode. You have the option to choose an inlight logo, a blank screen, or you can upload a custom image through the SensorView software. Screen Bright Level modifies the brightness level of the wall pod. Screensaver Timeout modifies the time setting for the screensaver to engage once the wall pod is idle. Default Timeout will set the length of time the setup screens will be viewable after the screen is idle. Backlight Dim Timeout will set the time for the dim level to engage once the wall pod is idle. Password Protection allows you to change how often you must enter the password. Factory Reset will return the wall pod to factory default settings. And finally, Clear Scenes will delete any preloaded scenes you have on your wall pod. Scenes can only be deleted from the wall pod. Creation of scenes is done through the SensorView software. That concludes our video. Thanks for watching.